Welcome back. Just when you thought our federal prisons couldn't get any more crowded, they already are overcrowded. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has told prosecutors to pursue the most serious charges possible against criminal suspects. The move will not only send more criminals to jail, but it will do so for longer terms by triggering mandatory minimum sentences. It's an explicit reversal of Eric Holder's sentencing policy that focused on not incarcerating people who committed low-level nonviolent crimes. Session says it's a key part of Donald Trump's promise to keep America safe, but is overbooking our prison system like a United flight really helping anyone? Let me ask Fox News senior judicial analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano returns. So, uh, you know, obviously those of us who have been talking about criminal justice right. for the better part of the last two decades, uh, we see this is going in the wrong direction yeah. and there are, there are better ways to support and focus law enforcement. Th this is an example of too much power in the hands of prosecutors. When the attorney general tells the prosecutors in the field, so to speak, you will always charge the most you can, the highest charge, the maximum, the, the charges that carry the maximum penalty, that will produce either more jury trials, thus slowing down the system, yeah. because defense lawyers and defendants simply will not tolerate pleading guilty to that, or it will result in people pleading guilty to a higher level of crime than they really committed in order to avoid the, the minimum mandatory. Both of these will have a negative effect on the judicial system, on the, on the penal system, and, neither of, uh, and none of this keeps us safer. The type of people, and I say this as a, as a friend of Attorney General Sessions, yeah. the type of people he has asked U.S. attorneys to go after include people that did not harm anyone. Kennedy, for 600 years, the definition of the word crime had the word harm in it. Yeah. So if these are people who are just drug users, recreational drug users, and he wants to prosecute them as if they were drug distributors, yeah. that is the wrong crime, the wrong charge and they're going to put people in jail who did harm to no one but themselves. And it's also not necessarily a deterrent. And I guess that's why it's so destructive because once you enter the system, you are absolutely changed by it. And if we view drug use as a criminal enterprise as opposed to a public health issue, uh, the people who come out of that system are changed forever and they, I would argue, do more harm to society because of that. This but if, if, we, if we channel our perceptions to something more positive, and get people the help they need so they can then be productive. Right. Th this will put such a stress on the resources of the Justice Department. It will frustrate federal agents who are sick and tired of investigating low-level personal recreational well, use drug cases who have far more important things to do. Yeah. So instead of looking at people who might harm national security, instead of looking at a bank robber, instead of trying to find somebody like these uh, cyber criminals that are terrifying the rest of us today, yeah. they're going to go after somebody using marijuana in his basement. That's just an inappropriate use of federal resources. It is what Donald Trump promised, but I was hoping that wiser heads or, or heads more knowledgeable about the criminal justice system yeah. would change his mind on this. And I'll say this, Barack Obama and Eric Holder had a far more enlightened and effective view of the use of criminal justice resources than this one that has just been it, it took some time to get there, and if there's one thing positive I can say about the administration, it is that, which is actually a bipartisan effort. And a, a lot of this, a lot of the evolution was aided by people like Senator Rand Paul, yes. who, who realized that, you know, he even said, it's minorities who are put in prison uh, disproportionately and for too long by laws like this, as you said, uh, put the emphasis in the wrong places where we should be fighting terrorism and we should should be fighting violent crime, now cops and, and prosecutors Look, have to go after I, people. I am 110 percent in Rand Paul's camp, but unfortunately there's very little he can do. Yeah. These are decisions that are in the hands of the Attorney General as to what crime to charge people with and what plea offers to offer them. Yeah. It's too much power in the hands of the executive branch. It's a culmination of, of the war on drugs yeah. under Nixon, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, Bush, all those yeah, years. These, these fail they ratcheted up prosecutions rather than pulled back prosecutions against people who yeah. didn't harm anybody. And, and we see the cause and effect. Hopefully, uh, the president will once again become enlightened on this issue. We can only hope. Judge, thank you yes, so much. Yes, pleasure.